What's good YouTube, Drake Talks coming at you live with another video. Now today is a special one. I am unboxing a $500 wholesale order from The Thrift Lord. I'm gonna put his name here or here, I don't know where it's gonna be. But shout out to him for this wholesale order. We're gonna dig through it. He said there's about 40 to 44 pieces in there, so we're just gonna see what the fuck's in there. So without further ado, let's fucking get into it. All right, well, take a look at this box. Massive. Damn near 30 pounds, I think it's 29.11, uh, 29 pounds and 11 ounces, but damn near 30 pounds. We're just gonna see what's in here. Just taking a look at it. All right, Fire. first piece, Madonna. Madonna Blonde Ambition. See that? Pretty dope. Next one, Duran Duran, Duran Duran, whatever the fuck it is. I might mispronounce these wrong, so just bear with me. This is fucking wild, man. Y'all see that? I can't, I'm not. Jimmy, oh, Jimmy Page, Jimmy Page, Robert Plant. And then we got the Pearl Jam. I saw this when he sent me a picture of the bundle. I saw, um, this on top, this 98 Pearl Jam Tour shirt, insane. I love Pearl Jam, this is so dope. I fuck with Pearl Jam a lot. Man, this is crazy. All right, keep going. 40 skateboards, hoodie. Didn't expect a hoodie in the bundle, but it's 40s. Shorties. I fucked up, my bad. So it's got the spell out going on the sleeves too. My bad guys. I'm not a skateboarder, so I don't fucking know. We got this Harley hoodie. It's probably really old actually. Possibly 80s. With the tag. An old Harley hoodie. Let me let me get a close up of that tag here. Y'all see that old Russell tag? Old as fuck. It could be 80s. I'm not sure. You guys might be able to help. Still do. Next. Yo, I, okay. So I saw this. Uh, this was also in the bundle. And I remember seeing this, this part, like, just like that. And I knew it was this. JT Savez. Man, this is fucking crazy. Sick as fuck. Yeah, let's keep going. Dope as fuck. New World Order, nineteen ninety nine. Big man, big sexy tank. Six dope as fuck. It's dope. Dick Farmers. That's a nice long sleeve. Bruce Springsteen. 1984. Little, little, little Born in the USA tour. It's a little crop top. This thing's tiny, but some chick's gonna love it. Going on. I know Lollapalooza. I don't know about Lil Little Palooza. Old as fuck, Mason 95. Pretty dope. Oh, Pink Floyd. Yo. This dope as fuck. Pink Floyd T. The OG looking blue. Fire as fuck. Man, this is fun. Richard Thompson Band, Mock Tutor. That's pretty hard. I'll see that. Alright guys, here's the thing. I haven't found a camel t-shirt. I've only found like Marlboro and that Newport Vantage. I mean, look at this. I got, this is a little interruption, but I got this for free from a church sale. It's just 1983. It says phone number on checks, so you just write 
on your checks. You sign your checks here. It's got the date and it's got the vintage cigarettes. I got this for free at a church sale. And here is a camel tea from the thrift lord himself. Fucking so sick. I've always wanted to find one. I didn't have to find one, he got me one, but he plugged it up. So dope. And I I saw this on his story, on his Snapchat, or not Snapchat, his Instagram story, and I um, commented on it, and I was like, yo, that's hard as fuck. And he goes, hey, you want it in there? I'm like, I'll be okay. He threw it in there. He's a fucking man. He knew I wanted the shit. Look at this. Oh my God, I'm so pumped. The Chicago Blackhawks, man. This is insane. Y'all saw that, right? Y'all see this fucking t-shirt? Buddy is going through a puck. Buddy is through a puck. He's balls deep. Man. Now we got this Marty Stewart. 1994 Marty Stewart. This tea is dope as fuck. And on the back, love and luck. Super sick. I'm gonna have to wash these shirts, but I don't. It doesn't bother me. It's dope. Next, we got this Bob Marley and Friends. The No to Racism Tour. That's, that's a pretty big piece right here. Bob Marley and Friends. No to Racism Tour. That's pretty hard. Next, we got this Aaron Tippin. 1995 Aaron Tippin Tour. Big, big graphic, man. I'm fucking with this, guys. It's a damn good bundle so far. What do we got next? Welcome to our island home. Enjoy your stay. Please take out the trash as you go. Man, I actually fuck with like uh, earth shirts, you know, like like cleaning up the earth and shit. So peep it. Ah. Yo. Look at this. This vintage Coca-Cola V-neck sweatshirt. This is winning team. Coca-Cola. This has got to be crazy. Y'all see that? Winning team. It's V-neck, striped. Hard as fuck, man. OG Coke tag. Alright, let's keep going. We got, ooh, 3D emblem, guys. That 3D emblem tag. I've, I've never found one in a while. I've, I've never found a 3D emblem uh, tag in a while. Y'all see this? 1993. Peep the 3D emblem tag in the back. Super sick. I fucked with it. We got some more in here, man. We got another. Another Harley. This one's got some tie dye in there, but. Survivor. Y'all see that? And in the back. Coastal. Myrtle Beach. Not bad. That's pretty. Dope. Now we got this Marlboro Unlimited tee. That's a crazy graphic, guys. In the front, it's just got the simple pocket. This shit crazy, guys. I'm fucking with it. I'm fucking with the stuff. Nike. Look at this Nike polo, guys. This thing's crazy. Look at that. A little Nike check. The OG Nike tag. Hard as fuck. It's gonna take some. It's gonna take some cleaning, but I'll, I'll take the I'll take the plunge and try to try to clean it. We got a simple little Budweiser crew neck. Nothing too crazy. Just a little Budweiser spell out. 
dope crew neck. And we got a simple, simple small neck to check crew. I found a lot of these, but they sell well, sell consistently. I usually sell them for about 25 free ship, 20, 29.99 free ship. Pretty easy. Next, oh, we got this Beatles tee. Damn. That's hard, man. Beatles. Beatles. The tag, too. I've never seen this tag, but it's got to be good. <laughs> it looks dope. Gold, gold series. Fuck yeah. I don't, I don't really listen to the Beatles. I, I just never fucked with it, but it's still dope. This vintage polo half uh, quarters it with the little P polo. Polo tag. Some, something simple, something light, but still do. Keep going. 19. Don't say the year. Uh, Stein. Cartoon. Alright, check it out. You got the little on the chest. You got this on the back. The Stein. We got another simple. Ooh, this one's this one's older. Um, we got another older small Nike check. But peep the tag. This one's older than the other one, for sure. Next, we got this vintage Green Bay Packers pro player shirt. Looks pretty dope. Big logo. Yeah. Nothing on the back. Just a few, few stains. But that's super dope anyways. Uh, champion reverse weave. Barson? Babson? I don't know. It's fucking crazy though. Reverse weave. Reverse weaves are so nice. It's got a big stain on the back. We'll see if we can get it out. See, like, I don't know if we can. But we're just going to see anyways. And if you guys recommend any ways to clean clothes, let me know in the comments, please. Or DM me on Instagram. Next, we got this fucking Hardy Bros. Yo. Hardy Bros shirt, man. Jeff Hardy. Look at that. That's crazy. I loved WWE growing up. Next, we got this spell out. I found a few of these. I found a Georgetown Hoyos. I doubled up on uh, two Iowa State Cyclones ones that had to spell out, and I I had a Detroit Lions spell out. They all sell fast, and a Vikings one, but check this out. Cowboys spell out. Big time. This is big mine, guys. Let's get it. I'm fucking with it, man. Now we got this mad crew knife. What we were. That's crazy. This crew's clean too. Look at that. Super dope. No idea what it is, but I'll learn. See, this is that thing. You get stuff like this and you find new stuff and you learn. You learn brand recognition. You know what's good. You know what sells good. And you just keep adding to your mental list. Next, we got this changes on the 1994 Warner Bros. T. Skunk. On the back. Pretty fucking fire, huh? Harmonize with the world around you. 1992 Humanities. All right. So we got this 92 Humanity shirt. And I found one at the bins one time, but it was like ripped to shreds. This sucked, but I'm pumped to have a Humanity shirt because I like those and I want to keep collecting more of them if I can. Foreigner, my dad would love this shit. 80s, man. That's Foreigner T. Jukebox Hero, 1999. Year I was born. I fuck with Foreigner. This looks wild, man. All over print. Big Mark Martin. I have a, look at this, look at this. So this is what I just pulled, Mark Martin. 
big print crew neck. And I got this Mark Martin all over print t-shirt. So maybe I could throw them in a lot together or some shit. Mark, Mark, baby. We got two more shirts. We got three more, including this one. Let's see what this is. Vintage Grave Digger tee. That's pretty hard. Print Grave Digger. Grave Digger was the best monster truck growing up, guys. Claw shirt. What is this? Waikiki Beach, Hawaii. Decent. I'm not a big fan, in my opinion. And the last tee. This is simple animal print shirt. No tag. And that is it. That is the unboxing, guys. I am. I'm happy to see what the comps are on some of this stuff because I don't, you know, I don't know the value right away. But we are going to see how we do on this. No, we got this huge pile of stuff. Time to get listed. Time to take pictures. Time to look up comps. And I appreciate you guys watching the video. Please like, subscribe, comment. Um, you know, comment some things that can maybe help me with cleaning some of these things, or with um, where best places to sell it besides eBay, Poshmark, Macari, uh, Depop. You know, but we're just gonna keep going. I'm very shout out to you, Thrift Lord. I'm gonna see what we can do, my man, in getting these sold. If you guys want to buy, just hit me up on Instagram at Drake Talks. But anyway, see you later. Boom.